What's up guys? Thanks for coming to Gaming Canada with me. Today I'm going to show you how you can get homebrew on your 11.5 as long as you didn't update Flipnote Studio to the latest version. Now if you happen to update your system to 11.6 then I'm sorry this isn't going to work for you as Flipnote Studio has an update nag that is forced in the 11.6 update. So Nintendo basically got scared. Mr. NBA Yo was going to drop another homebrew exploit and they did everything they could to make sure that 11.6 users could not get it. So if you happen to listen to my last video, I told you not to update until we got further news and definitely not to update Flipnote Studio until Mr. NBA Yo said so. I had held off on the news that this Flipnote hacks had gotten released just because it didn't work fully on the European version and I wanted to make sure that I knew how to get it to work before we went and made a video about it. So if you guys are ready, fire up your 3DS's, but actually don't, you're gonna have to take out your SD cards and put them in a computer, and let's get this started. Go ahead and click the link in the description and go over to Mr. NBA Yo's GitHub page for note hacks. And this is going to have all the information you need to get homebrew running on your 11.5 device. I'm going to quickly run through it all. I just want you to take note if you're on the European version, this is the new step that was added today. You're going to have to switch your 3DS's language to French to get this to boot homebrew properly. Now the problem with that is it's going to have to stay on French if you want to keep using homebrew. So after this, I'm going to be showing you guys how you can install a secondary entry point such as steel hacks so that you can always have homebrew without having to be in the French setting. Go ahead and click the next link in the description. It's going to take you over to Mr. MBA Yo's repository for node hacks and download build.zip. So I'm going to go ahead and click that. Go ahead and click the next link for Smealem's GitHub page for the homebrew launcher and you're going to scroll down until you see the homebrew starter kit. Go ahead and click that and it'll automatically download. And then just below it you'll see other app as well as Robin payloads and what you need to do is enter in your 3DS's information. So I've got a new 3DS on 11.5-38 and U is my region, so for USA. If you happen to have European PAL version, you're going to want to hit E. And if you're in Japanese, you're going to want to hit the J. Go ahead and download other app. And I'll meet you guys down in your downloads. I've got my downloads open here on the right. And I have my SD card of my 3DS open on the left. What you're going to want to do is take the starter.zip, right click it, and extract it to here with 7-zip. Go ahead and delete the zip file. Now take the boot.3dsx as well as the 3ds file that came from it and drag those both into the root of your SD card. So now you should have a 3ds folder as well as a boot.3dsx. If you happen to have those already, go ahead and just replace them. Up next, take your build.zip, right click it, and again, 7-zip extract it to here. I'm going to go ahead and delete the build.zip and then open up the build folder. Inside of here, click on your corresponding region. I'm going to open up USA. And then I'm going to take note hacks as well as private and I'm going to cut them. Go back to the downloads directory and then paste them here. Now I'm going to delete the build folder. I don't need it any longer. And now you should have a note hacks folder, a private folder, as well as an other app.bin payload. What you need to do is change your other app.bin payload to other app, all one word, dot bin. And then you're going to drag it into the note hacks folder. Now you're going to take private as well as note hacks and you're going to drag them onto your SD card and it'll probably merge your two private files together. If it asks you to overwrite anything, go ahead and do it. Now go ahead and safely eject your SD card and reinsert it into your 3DS. We're down here on the 3DS. If you're on a European version, go ahead and open up system settings. Once you're in system settings, tap on other settings and then hit the five at the top. This is going to allow you to select a language and here you're going to want to switch to French and then hit OK. You're going to want to hit back, hit quit, go ahead and open up Flipnote Studio 3D. Go ahead and tap next through all this if you haven't opened it before. So now that you've got Flipnote Studio 3D open, go ahead and tap on view and you should see a note that says the homebrew launcher. Go ahead and tap on it and it should boot you into homebrew.
And there you have it. You now have homebrew running on your 11.5 device. If it happens to freeze or get stuck on a colored screen, go ahead and just restart your 3DS and attempt it again. If you happen to be on a European version, then I'm going to show you guys in the next video how you can install a secondary exploit such as Steelhack so that you don't have to stay on a French system the whole time you want to be using Homebrew. I'll also put a link in the description for Ocarina of Time hacks or Oot hacks in case you happen to have Ocarina of Time, either the cartridge version or the eShop version, then you can use this new flip note entry point to install homebrew into Ocarina of Time. In case Flip Note Studio ever stops working, then you'd be able to use Ocarina of Time. I guess I'll catch you guys next time. Make sure you head over to Mr. NBA Yo's Twitter page, give him a follow, as well as say thank you for all the exploiting that he has been doing for the community. Much love. I'll catch you guys next time. Peace.